Hello guys, welcome to Airlight Professionals YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create this. Alright, so this is a five steps um, design. This can be used in your project whenever you have a presentation. The essence of this, this will help to, to speed up your design process because we're going to make this template available. Then you can, you can change anything you want to change from the color down to the, to the circles, down to the, um, then you can increase it from five steps to six steps or reduce it from five steps to four steps to three steps, depending on what you actually, um, desire. Okay. So let us get into it then. We have a fresh template. In this template, for the first thing you will need to do is to create a circle. Come to your shapes, then create a circle. Okay, so hold shift when dragging the circle so that you can have a perfect circle. Then you will need another shape. Take this triangle, then draw a very small triangle, very, very small. And then change this color. So I'm going to change this color, the first color, to this. Why I'm going to change this other one to let me change this other one to purple. I'm going to change it to this first color that we have here. So I'm going to create a circle. A small circle and the sheet down, then paste it here. Okay, so let me set it in the middle. Then I'm, I'm going to change this color to white. So go to fill, solid, solid fill, then change this to white. Okay, so then I have this. Then put it on the first white. Then select this. Want to be very white fish. Okay, so this is fine. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this, right? I'm going to group them and duplicate. Okay, so I have this. Then make this align this way. Alright, so this is for me, this forms a perfect eight, right? Which is great. Now, so I want this color to be here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this color to align to what we have here. Okay, so I drop her, then I want this color to be this color. And I want this color itself to carry another color. So I want this color to be, let's say, blue let's make this blue okay so i have these two colors which is perfect right then let's change this color so a bit the same as this okay so i'm going to change this color again this okay, so let's bring this up i want this to form i want this okay so let me the okay, first thing let's ungroup this go to right click then go to ungroup okay so make this to bring this to the top ungroup so bring this to the top bring to front okay then bring this to front as well. Okay, then we have this. Actually, let's make this a purple color. Okay, so perfect. So we have this right here. Then let's make this a blue color as well. Let's group everything. Then let's duplicate one, then duplicate two. If you want to, but well, in our case, we want just um, want just 
So, so I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. Okay, so on group. Then delete this. Delete this. Okay, so we have this. Alright, so another thing I want us to do, right? So you need to shift this up. So group this and then move this. This have to be up. Okay, so this also have to be up, right? Okay, so since we have this, one thing I also to do now on group again. So after you on group, take this. So send this to the back. And then, so you have this call. Then take this and send this to the back as well. Okay, now, so instead of sending that to the back, okay, we need to ungroup this one. That is why it's not working. So sometimes you have to group on group to achieve what you intend to achieve with your edit. So this we're going to send this to the back, and this will come on top. So you have this flow circle right so this is one two three four five so what we need to do right now is not change all this to different colors so i'm going to click on this this is fine this is fine now this you have to change this to another color so change this color to green All right, again, we're going to create shapes by create a line here and let's make the line the touch it here. So I'm going to create this line and I'm going to make this bold. So come to your line, then change the color to the first color, which is purple. Then make this about, I'm going to make this into two. Will be fine. I'm going to make this to be very straight, so it's going to be at at zero. All right, so I'm going to make a small circle quickly. So let me copy this circle. Let me copy this circle. Then I'm going to click it. Come here. Okay, so I'm going to make this circle very small. Okay, so let's see this a bit. So I need a okay. So I need an icon. So let's go to insert, then go to icons. So I'm going to be doing this under um. So look for business under business or uh, analytics. Okay, so I'm just click this two from zero point two. Yes. Yeah. 0 0.2 seems very tiny. Let's do 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Okay, so 0 0.25 is great. So you just drop one of these here. All right, so then align them in the center. That is done. Then you group them as one. So group them as one. So you can easily move them if you want. So that's fine so i'm going to make this these two then group them as one as well so i have this as one i can easily move them if i want okay so this is fine so this i'm going to duplicate this and send this to the back but before doing that let's add some text so go to insert click on text box Draw a text box here, then put um, we just copy this one, take bring it down here. Now we need to flip this on the other side, so go to your format, then go to align under align, 
click on rotate then let's flip this horizontal so i want to use it. copy this and then paste then move it here so copy this copy and paste this and move one here as well one is down one is up okay so we are going to group this together as one so i'm going to group this together with this as one there. You need to insert some text box here, so go to your insert, then insert text box, this, then type some numbers and change the format. Right, okay, so perfect, then you change this one to the green. Okay, so let's change this to the green. I'm going to ungroup each one of them, then change the color to green. Alright, so I've changed the colors. To... Alright, guys, so right now. So, Alright, guys, so let's animate this. What we're going to do, we are to ensure that, uh, we're going to ensure this floats in from the. Um, okay, so let this fly in from the right, and this guy should float in from the bottom and the top. So we ensure that we fit this in. Let's fit this in. So let's just click on this. Since we have good this already, then click on each pair of this. Click on each and um, let's fit this in. So at the same time, which is fine. So we have this group one, 61, then the three shape. Fine, then let's click on this. Let's float this in. Just go, go to add animation, then we are going to fly this in. So this will come from the, from the bottom right, but this will Let's change this to the right. Come from the right. Um, okay. Fine. Okay, so let's float these guys in. Fly, flying in would be a very long distance. So we just want these guys to come in right after floating this in. Alright, so click on the text icon, then add animation, then we're going to float this in. Right, so that is coming from the bottom, but we want this to come from the top. So just click on float in from the top. Okay, so we want from the, um, okay, float down. So top down. Then let's click on this and we float this in as well. So float in and then we want this. So, okay, this is right from the bottom up. So this is great. Um, let's play everything and see what is happening. Okay. Then this come back, right? So fine. So at the click, this circle come first. This come second. Then this come and come. This and this come almost at the same time. So let's play again and see. Okay. So the timing is fine. So this come first. The text are both come first before this. Okay. So that's great. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to repeat the same thing for these guys. So you can just tag um, along, do it, and then we're going to compare at the end of the day.
So in case if you want to remove some background and then just want this this color you want to learn to display, what you can do, click on click on this background here, then I want you to go to color and change this color, change this color that the same, then change it to them, change them to be the same. And you will see that now we have just these um different colors. And this shows as one without showing the other one, so which is really great. So it depends on what you want. You can do it the way you want it. So that is how you design um, this wonderful template, right? This will be available for download. Just click on the um, button. Just click on the link in the video description to download it. Please leave a comment, leave a like, and then share with your friends and family. Thank you so much, guys. I hope to see you in the next video.